Hello. Today, we are going to be working on decorating the kitchen table. We've talked about taking time with the family. And we've talked about cooking and keeping things nice and clean. And today, we're going to talk about just taking care of that kitchen table. What you don't want, even though at your kitchen table there's um, conversation, there's homework, there's artwork, there are all kinds of things that are going on on that table. When it's time for dinner, you want it to be attractive. You want it to draw and to make everyone smile and see that you thought enough of them to take the time to make the table special. Now, that's not to say that you're going to do it every night. Or, in this case, you're going to put together something that you can put on the table and then take off the table. So that's what we're going to put together today. Now, what I would like for you to tell me today is how do you go about making your table attractive? Now, of course, we clean the table, but that's expected to keep it clean. But what do you what do you do special that says, hey guys, I want to do just a little extra touch of something just for you. So tell me down below, what are some of the things that you'd like to do? And if not things that you like to do, what do you like to see? When you go to someone's house and they have prepared a delicious meal, do you go to a blank table? Or have they taken the time to put something on that table that says, I knew you were coming and I added something special. So let's take a look at what I do today for this particular table. And it's not a large table, it's a little round table because there's just the two of us. And tonight we're having company for four. But I want them to walk in and say, wow, she knew we were coming and took that time. Now, at the end, tell me, tell me what you found attractive about the table, what you think needs to be added, and if you were the person walking in the door, what would you think? All right, we are going to work on this table, and we're going to get it set up nice and pretty for um, February. So let's see what we can do. First, it needs a good cleaning. That stays pretty much on this table unless I decide to switch it out. I'm going to get some paper towels. Sorry about that. The phone always rings when I don't want it to. Guess what? It wasn't anyone I knew. I'm using Spray Away, which is the glass cleaner I have used for probably the last at least 10 or 12 years. I love this product. It does a great job on glass. And uh, there's even a version for those of you who have stainless steel products. But it does a great job cleaning. So we have to start there. I have some friends who are going to be coming by for, for dinner and for a little entertainment. So let's see if we can spiff it up a little bit. Alright, so we've got a clean table. And I'm trying to decide just how much I want on that table. So I'm going to start with the placemats. I'm going to use the placemat. Remember, I've been using the placemats that uh, match the cushions. I'm going to put those on. And uh, let's see, 
me see what kind of charger. I always want a charger. I like chargers because they tend to save my table uh, from sometimes things that fall and uh, kind of helps to keep it clean. So I almost always have chargers on my table. Okay, so we've got, we're there. Now, let's look at what's going to go in the middle. Okay, I'm bringing you in closer. The first thing that I want is something to go around this pot. I don't have, at this point, a little tray small enough just to fit in the center, but I'm looking. And I didn't want anything that was too high. So I have pip, pip berries from the pip berry farm. And I'm going to take these pip berries. This is just a little cutting off of the pit berry. And I'm going to sit that in the center, right there. And that pot is going to fit right there around and in those pit, pit berries. Now inside of the pot, I want flowers and I want it to look like spring. Now I'm going to start with some lavender and I'm literally just going to stick it in. I've got several of these. These were a great value from Walmart, 97 cents. I love it. So I was able to get quite a few. So I'm going to put those in first. Because I want to see how far I can get. Now, if I need to secure those down underneath, I don't have a little foam uh, holder in the bottom. I'm just trying to wing it because I pull these out and do something else with them even, you know, during the spring, farther into the spring. And actually, by the time I get all the flowers in here, um, they're going to, it's going to be pretty full. So, I think it'll be just fine. Everybody will hold the other one in. Okay. Okay, it's going to be nice and soft. That's a nice soft color. Okay, and I'm going to put this right down in the center. Okay, now we've got lots of purple in there. Okay, so let's see what else we can put in. Okay, now in the center, I only have, I didn't want to go out and buy them, I have three stems of forsythia. I'm going to place those in the middle just to give it a little height. If I need to bring them down, I'll fold the bottom just a little bit. Okay, I think fold it might work. Let me get those out. So I'm just going to fold over the bottom so I don't have to cut it. And this one I'm going to leave where it is. I'll back you up a little bit so you can see better. There we go. One, two, three. Well, always in threes. Okay, let's add just a little more yellow. I have this one, and I may have two. I'll have to search. But I have a few more little yellow flowers that I'm going to add to the mix. They're a little shorter. Oh, I like that. Let me see if I can find another one. Well, you know, as luck would have it, that's the only one. So for now... I'm going to take this, open it up real good, and I'm going to place it right in the center so that I have some on both sides and kind of wrap it around that center 
piece uh, for Scythia. In fact, I think I'll take the center one out for now, and then I'll poke it back in. Let's get this in. Get that in. Get the forsythia in on both sides. Turn these so that they have a good position. They're nice and open. Everybody has a little bit. And then I can put the forsythia back in. There we go. Now, it's springy, so we have to have some tulips. I love tulips. And tulips just add that perfect touch to whatever you're doing. Look at those colors. Ah, I like that. I have another one. I'll put it in on this side. Okay, what do you think? All right, we've got Forsythia. We've got the little, um, I think they're like little daisies, but um, not exactly. Peonies, maybe. not even peonies. I'm not sure what they're called. And I don't have the sticker on there at this point. Now, so we have quite a bit. Let's see what else I can find. Since I'm working with what's in my in my bucket here. Here's another little flower, and uh, it came in a batch. I'm trying to see if there's a name for them. Well, of course not. No name. Mini bundle. Just a spring flower. Okay, that's from Michael's. Little spring flower, so we're gonna spring it. I'm going to put in some here, which kind of picks up the pink and the yellow. And some here, and make a little triangle. And we need some there. All right, so they're in the mix. Now, I noticed I have a little piece of some pink that's in there. I'm just going to throw that in. You notice how everybody's standing as they should. What I have done is that I have added to these uh, placemats and chargers a setting, a plate setting that is called English Garden. And as you can see, each of the plates has some of the flowers that we have included in our design. And so I think that will work perfectly. We're going to need our main dinner plate and a salad plate. I have included a napkin. And since this is just a typical dinner, I'm going to use just regular paper napkins that I've folded. I did take the time to do that. I'm adding a glass at each place setting. And I'm also going to add the silverware, but I'm not going to put the silverware in the traditional place. I'm going to place the silverware right here on the napkin. So I have the fork, I have the knife, and I have the spoon right there ready for them to be able to use and to have the availability of that in there for their meal. So they have everything they need right there on the plate. Let me do the second one. I have the fork. I have the knife. And I have the spoon. And that's the way I'm going to set it for each of the four settings. The fork. The knife. 
and the spoon. Now I'll bring you in just a little closer so you can see what I've done. And see how that blends so nicely with the flowers. That is a beautiful table. It just shouts, welcome. I knew you were coming. Thank you for taking the time today to see what I've done with my kitchen table. It's special for my family. Now, if you like these types of things, decorating your table, keeping it simple with each change of seasoning, please let me know in the description box below so I'll know to make more videos just like this. I love to cook. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and I'm a retired teacher of 30 plus years. And so, I am ready to answer those questions and to share lots of good information with you. Please subscribe because I upload multiple times within the week, usually about cooking and about different types of uh, subjects that apply to our home and to our family. And uh, certainly we should be about building our family. So. I appreciate your stopping by today. Have a great day.